first to face the dragons is Alan Gillette from Kent. The road to get the product up and running has been tumultuous to say the least. I'm ready to go into the den. It's been a long time coming and with everything I've had to do to get here, but I'm happy I'm here. I've always been taught if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room and I think this is the right room. Hello dragons, my name is Alan and I am the inventor and producer of The Extra Hand. An unrivalled hands-free dust extraction attachment for vacuums. It effectively removes all of the dust and debris when drilling, cutting and grinding. Sorry, apologies. The extra hand works effortlessly with all types of drill bits. I'm going to give you a small demonstration on how it works. As you can see, there's no dust anywhere else other than what's been taken straight into the vacuum. Okay, in your boxes, you've got examples of the extra hand. Alan, could you, uh, could you tell us how much money you're looking for and what percentage Oh, sorry, yes, you're that's, the bit, oh, that's the bit I've lost. Um, okay, we're looking for a £40,000 investment for a 10% stake in the company. Is there anyone who would like to volunteer to have a go? I would love to have a go, Alan. Yeah. You need me to come up there? Yes, please. Put your goggles on. That's it. A plastic attachment for vacuum cleaners, which enables dust-free drilling, cutting and grinding, is the brainchild of Alan Gillette. So all you've got to do is put it on there, let it go. It's the suction from it's the vacuum. the suction from it. the vacuum that holds it in place. Yeah? That's it. Oh. Alan is seeking £40,000 in return for a 10% stake in his company. <laughs> She's tried her hand at drilling. Yeah. yeah. But now it's time for Sarah Davies to give Alan a grilling. Alan, I'm pleased I got a chance to try it. And I just think it's brilliant. Thank you. I think it's really clever. And so why don't you give me your sales for the last few years? It's only one um, year. What's your sales and everything been in the full years worth of trading? 86,000 86, in the first year. Pounds. Yeah. 56 was the gross profit. And we ended up with um, a net profit of £1,800. Right. And so um, what's your backstory? Um, 2006, I invented it. I left it in the cupboard um, until my mum got cancer. And I had to stop work because I was looking after her. My mum unfortunately passed. It took me a while to recover from that. But then my wife and I, we went, right, okay, we're gonna do this. And we picked it up again. And then she was diagnosed with cancer. 11 weeks later, she died. Um, and it's taken me a couple of years to get to the point where I can... Um, I was able to do it for myself. Um, and so in February, my partner and I, we managed to get it off the ground and, and it's flown ever since. Alan, firstly, my deepest sympathies for what's happened. Thank you. Admirable that you're still staying strong, so well done, Thank brilliant. You. And also well done on the product. I genuinely think the product is really clever. Thank you. And it's really good, it does exactly what it says on the tin. What does it cost you, landed? £2.17. Right, 
And what do you sell them for? 25. And how many have you sold to generate uh, that 86,000? Nearly, nearly 4,000. You know, I've just got a little Facebook ad that goes out and they're selling every day. But this year I'm trying to get into retail. Alan's proving himself to be a resilient and ambitious entrepreneur. Now Deborah Meaden wants to find out more about his customer base. So who is buying it at the moment? It's between DIY and um, plumbers, electricians and carpenters. Would the construction industry use them? The construction industry are now being forced to use them. Oh. Basically because currently there are around about 20,000 reported cases of work-related breathing problems each year just in the UK. The extraction but aren't they controls. using big extractors? Because when you're drilling loads of holes, there is no way you're going to be bothered to keep switching your drill off, moving this over, putting it on again, drilling another hole. They're just not going to do it. Yeah. So they're going to use these big mega extractors. Yeah. Construction yeah? sites, that's the way it will go. Yeah. But the personal builder and the personal carpenter who goes around to people's houses, they are more likely to have a, a, a vacuum like this. OK, so you see it as the tradespeople yeah. and the DIYers? Yes, that's okay. right, yes. Um, have you spoken to any of the uh, big sheds about selling it? When you say sheds, you mean DIY people. I can't get through to them. I can't get past the gatekeepers, which is why I'm here. When it comes to getting shelf space in the big chains, Alan just can't do it himself. The Dragons have no issues opening retailers' doors, but Sarah Davies has spotted a potential problem. I was looking all over on the packaging to see what that patent pending number was. There isn't. Can't get a patent on it. I tried for two years, but people have been trying to invent this since 1978, and every route I went, there was another patent that was saying the same things. Now, there's three copies already, but they've not got the inside. So although they look the same, they don't work. And I have got one here. I don't like putting other companies down, but at the end of the day, this is, this is my livelihood as well. It is, and you're here in Dragon's Den to bag yourself a dragon, mate, so do whatever it's going to take. So you'll see that it looks very similar, but if yeah. you take a look at that and you take a look at the adapter, because the adapter is, the, is one of the key points as well. Can I try it with the Hoover? Of course you can, mate. Very good. It, it's weak, it's hit and miss. You're right, like, that one didn't work as well. But my concern is if this isn't protectable at all, people are going to iterate on that and they're going to make that a little bit better and a little bit better. And the market in Amazon is going to be flooded with these. And if it does can get I, big... Can I just stop you there? Because this is, this is one of the... Th was one of my biggest concerns, was, was the patent. I've looked at you guys, and I've, I've, I, I watch the show avidly. I mean, I do, I love you all, I think you're great. Who's your favourite? Tuca. <laughs> I've got a complete wardrobe full of his shirts. Wow, oh. Tuca! <laughs> if, if it comes to shirts, there's only one person here, and that's, that's Tuca. But then he's got, he's got retail. <laughs> you're a god. As far as I'm concerned, you are... God, don't feed You know? <laughs> Deborah, you are an even bigger goddess. <laughs> um, OK, OK, don't feed her. You know, it, it's, I'm sorry, but you've all got your own attributes, and I love you all. You accidentally missed me, Alan, in that yeah, list of... You're very new, <laughs> yeah. very new, and, uh, and I must be honest, last year's season, I was... Mm, oh, no. <laughs> I'm he, hoping to do better this like year. He's honest. But you are, yeah, yeah, you're very good. But getting back to this, I think if someone wants to copy this, it's going to be a very long and tedious job mm. because of the fact that the tolling for this actually took seven months. I believe you, do you know, I actually believe you, but I, when I think about this, is this an investable business? For all the reasons we've talked about, I don't think, I don't actually think it is. So I'm gonna have to say, Alan, that I am out. Alan loses his first dragon. Deborah Meaden already has investments in the DIY space. So is she willing to add Alan's product to her home improvement portfolio? I think it's very neat. Yeah. 
I think it's obviously got a market in the DIY, and I think it will have a market with some tradespeople. But it worries me that it can't move into the construction industry because that's where the big, the big money is. So I'm really sorry, Alan. I won't be investing. Okay. Yeah, I'm out. Alan, as you'll probably know, I've had other investments in this space before, yes. and it is a really challenging market mm -hmm. to bring products to market, and that is with a patented product. And I worry that the forty grand spend that you need today is is. But I feel that I feel that the investment today will be paid back very quickly. For me, it's not the forty grand that you're asking for. It's the investment of my time and energy okay. and yeah, everything no, that's, that's going to need yeah, to yeah. come to bring the product to market. Yeah. And that's the bit that I'm I'm really struggling with. I'm going to decline and say I'm out. Best of luck. Three dragons have now bowed out. Will Peter Jones's earlier enthusiasm for Alan's product lead to an offer? From the demonstration, I think you've got a great product. Yeah. I don't think it's clearly defensible, but for me, this is a volume game. This yeah. is getting it Definitely. out there fast. Definitely, but I can't do that on my own. Well, I can get this out in the market for you with myself and my team very easily. Yeah. OK. And I also think you really do deserve a break. So, Alan, the good news is I'm going to... I'm going to be the first dragon to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money, 40,000, for 25% of the business. Fantastic, thank you. I appreciate that. An offer from Peter Jones, albeit for more than double the equity the entrepreneur was originally looking to give away. He's already one of Tuka Suleiman's customers. But is Alan also poised to become one of his investees? Oh, Alan. Tuka. You wear my shirts? I do. I appreciate that. Look, what can I tell you? I think it's a great little gadget. And, yeah, I can open it. B and Q, screw fix, I mean, easy. I'll match Peter's offer. So I will offer you all of the money for, is it for 25%. OK. Um, it's a bit of a predicament, really. I don't want to upset you, Tuka, but I really have got to take Peter. Peter, I'd love to accept your offer. Yes, fantastic. Thank you. Well done, Alan. Um, well done. done. Great. <laughs> well done, Alan. Cheers, well Alan. Done. Success for Alan, who exits with £40,000 and the much coveted backing of a dragon. Well done, Mr Jones. You god, you. I don't often be serious, but it's one of those moments where you reflect of why you sit in this chair. Yeah. When you meet somebody that needs a break and have a great opportunity to make a return on your investment. I know my mum and my wife would be proud of, of how this, this has ended up. With Peter at my side, there's not a mountain I'm not going to conquer.